Hello guys, my name is Philip Healy and welcome to Philip Healy Photography. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy intro or introduction for your YouTube channel. First off, you want to find an HD wallpaper which you can use as your background. Then you want to find what kind of pictures you want to have in your intro or introduction, which I have here. So you're probably thinking how long should the introduction for your channel be? Well, between 5 to 10 seconds, not longer. I recommend 10, so you can make most of it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make like a moving pictures and then the logo comes out by itself. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the picture here, as you saw, into the timeline and I'm gonna press C to use the clip. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this. One thing you need to remember, if this is gray, click that, that is the snapping tool. It's really handy and it helps you a lot. So I want each picture to be one second long. So that looks good. Next one, we want to do the same thing. C and then V to use the selection tool and delete. And this is the process which you want to do until you get to about five seconds. You're probably wondering why I want to use one second each. It's because then you can do quite a lot with the pictures. Well, you will see for yourselves. And uh, yeah, so this is actually my first tutorial video. If you like it, go down there and hit the like button and comment in the comment section down below if you have any questions about Premiere Pro or Photoshop. And yes, there will be more tutorials and more videos on my channel coming soon so hit that subscribe button and notification bell to know when there's a new tutorial or a video out on my channel so now we got the five pictures we wanted but we want another one because we want it to be a bit longer as you could see it was tiny short but then here is what it's gonna be so now what is important to do is to get the moving effect so i want to go to effects right here as you can see and then i want to go down to video transitions and then i want to go to dissolve no i don't want to go to dissolve slide and then i want to use the push so we start here as you can see now we get the push effect but i wanna what i want to do now i want to click that one and go to effect controls this is what we get so i want to i want the picture to start from bottom and go up so what i do i press this and we want it to be at seven tenth of a second so that looks good so now we want to continue using that click and move it down to seven but this time since it went up i want it to come from left to right so now we press here so that's going to be like this as you can see so we just continue doing this through hole throughout the video uh, timeline and now we want a kind of downwards and uh, we want to go on se seven seconds again and then we need another one and this time it's gonna come from there seven seconds well not seven seconds but seven oh, well you get what I mean and we want to do that again and now we're gonna go the other way a little bit different and now we're at the end which is gonna be like that 
very easy very simple but here's what we want now we want to go to dissolve and cross to dissolve and then we want it to be at 10th of a second uh, well you know what I mean guys I'm not good in English so this is important you don't want the blue thing to show then go to cut still remember to have the snap on you go there and then you have this so as you can see it doesn't it it starts it is so as you can see it stops to look way better now we want to go back to project and now we want to add a swiss swoosh so what we want to do is select one of these which sounds good so the first one sounds really good so I'm gonna keep that one so I'm gonna cut it there and there and delete these so what I can do now is copy and paste 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 so well, we want this to be at at the middle of each transitions so the sound will catch along so it's gonna sound like this hang on this one should be at the start I'm so sorry As you can see with music in the background it's gonna sound way better so it's gonna sound like this but here's the thing it's a little bit too loud so we want to go to effects controls by so what we're gonna do you want to press on this and go comes to effect controls if not, you just press there and you press this again and there you go. What you need to remember, press the stopwatch because that's keyframing. What we're going to do now, you want to put minus, well let's say 5. Let's try that. Mm, sounds good, but maybe we can do it on the 7. Let's hear that. Yeah, that sounds even better. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same thing on these one, minus seven, and do the same thing on all of these so it's the same volume, or else it's not gonna sound that good. My phone just made a noise, which I did not like. I'm so sorry for that, and then, do like, oops, there, and remove. So now I forgot to remove it before I pushed enter. So then no problem. It said this action will delete existing, this action will delete existing keyframes. Do you want to continue? Yes, because I don't want any keyframes. So now we got this intro which we can delete from here so here we go so it sounds really good maybe we could have it on minus 10 because it's a bit too loud and I didn't quite like it so you can tweak around with the settings on the volume yourself of course but this is for for my own taste how I like it and uh, everybody has the different tastes so you can do it the way you like I'm just showing how you can make a real easy intro there you go so now what you want to do is you want to bring along your uh, your logo which in this case is this one 
and uh, you want it. now we we are coming to something called keyframes so what you want to do is click on the scale one you want to move this a little bit up like that but that doesn't do anything no worries what you want to do now is you want to scale it so you don't see it so now when you start and then you stop right at the end you bring it back how big you decide what I like to do is to keep it at 135 so now as you can see what happens this happens So it takes a little bit longer. So what I want to do, I want to move the keyframe here to that place and it comes even faster. Now the tricky parts come. Now, so now the tricky part comes. What you want to do is you want your text. I'm going to put Philip, oh God, Philip. Healy. and I forgot to put it in black of course so now I'm gonna use that dot Philip Healy and then I want it to be like that and I want a new text photography photography all right, there we go. So now I want this to be at 120. So it's a little bit bigger than my, my original text. Maybe even bigger, maybe 150. Oh yeah, there we go. And now I want it centered. There you go. And I want that one centered too. So now this looks even better. So now I can move this into place and it's gonna show like that. So, we want it to come in close as the logo. So now we want to scale it down to zero again so you don't see it. And we wanna stop it exactly where we stopped it earlier, like somewhere like there, and move it back in position. And maybe a little bit further up so it sticks with the logo and we want to move it back there and then we have considered ourselves a new logo so that looks even cooler but you want it to dissolve with your intro and everything else. So what you can do, you can put the dissolves ones here. As you can see, it looks even better. But I want to put it down to seven again. My phone is going crazy for some reason. I don't know why. And then you check it out. It's really simple and really easy to make an intro in Premiere Pro. One last thing I want to put in, just to, for the final touch, I want to go to Audio Transitions, go down to Exponential Fade. I put that there. I put it there in the beginning. It's gonna sound even softer and better. Maybe not in the beginning actually. I will not I did not like it in the beginning. So that sounds much better and there you go. You have yourself. So there you go. You have yourselves. So that is how you make your own so that is how you make your own 
intro or introduction to your YouTube channel or whatever you like and thank you so much for watching if you like this tutorial let me know in the comment section down below if you have any other requests or questions for me about Premiere Pro or Photoshop let me know in the comment section down below and leave a subscribe if you want more tutorials and I will see you in the next video bye